Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT John. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Have you ever had anybody like like a old like an ex partner just like wow out on you for no reason like via text message? Uh, like in what way do you mean wow out? Like throwing I, themselves I saw, at this you? I was on or? Reddit somewhere. What it was our text. Have you ever seen our text? Yeah, hundred percent. So so okay so. <laughs> yeah, come on. So here, it. here's the text exchange. I'm going to read through this text exchange, and then we'll talk about it after. All okay? right. Do you do you got to do voices though? <sighs> do I? <laughs> no, I don't. All right. This the a woman, little bit of a voice. Give right, me a little. So, so the woman. I'll start. It goes woman. Then I'll tell you when. Okay. Give me an octave change. All right. <laughs> See, don't just call me after your flight. That's the woman. Name excluded. It's a 15 hour time difference. No, don't pull that shit. How fucking hard is it to pull out your phone, which you likely did to turn off airplane, and text me, hey, landed safely? Like, it's, it's fucking basic decency. I fucking thought you were dead, you piece of shit. What if I fucking killed myself because I thought you had died in a plane crash? Uh, Response. Yeah. A bit dramatic, babe. Uh, oh, and now I'm dramatic for being fucking worried, so I'm not yeah. think this person is, I love is dead, and I'm very sad about it. So I'm like, who the fuck are you? You're not fucking important. Jesus fucking Christ, just don't even show up at my place when you get back. Just chill, okay. step back and breathe. I think you're having an episode. Oh, that's an episode. Actually, I hope you crash back into America. No, fuck you. You, you don't get to blame me for being upset. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Name, I love you, but you really have to go take 30 or so. We can talk about this later. <laughs> Please just take five minutes and calm down. I'm going to take a shower. I love you, and I know you love me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be this upset. I'm fine. I'm alive, but I'm not, and I'm not going to leave you. You thought I ever loved you? You're more than an idiot. And I thought, don't text me. We're done. That's the exchange. Okay. Because homeboy didn't message her when, when he landed off the plane. Yeah, I mean, look, um, man, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. It's obviously, he was effing up before that. That was just a straw that broke the camel's back. But that is a bullshit reason to blow up on somebody. Like when a job fires you over like, you know, an infraction that everybody does or something like that. Yeah, like but yeah. But like has anyone ever blown up on you like that? I mean, look, I so yeah, I don't <laughs> It's very hard to discuss this and not come across as a misogynist. And I'm trying to I mean, do just that. just speaking very like generalities, you don't have to like I do. It, it has like we'll just say that you date men. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we say that? So it doesn't sound like you're talking bad about women. <laughs> no, then they get more mad because they're like, "Oh, you're trying to take our from our stock." No, like you're out here trying to turn all of our men so that you can just Esther D's. I don't want to be that guy either. Way. I uh, no matter what your uh, opposition to women. Wow, now you sound like it without even trying. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> say what you were gonna say. I said, uh, shit. Your misogyny just blinded me. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, God damn it. What was I going to say? Duh. Oh, I I have definite. And like, I feel like that sort of behavior, it, he has done. He obviously has done something in the past. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, I, I, but I feel like that's not so much being a woman as it is like mental health issues. Like that's like, yeah. that's like an insecurity. That's a trauma. That's a something that's not like i mean maybe it's bipolar maybe i don't know what it is but there's there's obviously and it seems like he's been through it before because he's like babe it's like you're having an episode i love you i'm not leaving yeah, you like yeah, he's yeah. just trying to like put out the fire because he realizes that she's just all fired up <sighs> but that's a mental health thing there's so many different angles you could attack that from Mm -hmm. From his perspective, I'm like, yo, I'm good. I just got I off a goddamn plane and like, yeah. I'm, I'm getting this. Yeah, I'm good. I won't come back to your place. <laughs> you put my stuff out and just leave it there. Question then. Follow up question. Have Jeez. you ever had anybody wild out like that on you? And then you're like, fine, I won't come back. And then just never came back. Yeah, yeah every single time. <laughs> you're like, I've never. I, I've, and then they text you like, like, I'm sorry that I did that. And you're like, and you no, just don't I'm respond. Good. I'm good. Thanks. You know, have a have a wonderful time. Yeah, <sighs> I did have someone kick me out of their house for no reason. I'm, yeah, I've been there. And then uh, I've been there. Like I was just like, I literally what I had said to them. I think was I was like, "Why are you yelling at me? Like I don't understand <laughs> what you're yelling at me about." 
and they were like, just get the F out. Don't come back. And like, I was like, all right, bye. And then I never, and then they like, and they wrote me like a, they wrote me like a letter and stuff. And that's, that's me releasing all the misandry. No, misandry is the other way. The misogyny steam. All right. Every time I do yeah, that, yeah. I'm releasing the misogyny. Yeah. Statement. Cause I'm trying to come at this at not like a misogynist. I just like, I just talk. If I had the perspective of women dating dudes, I would, it'd be, they get told like you're a piece of shit. No one's going to love you. I mean, they get all that shit too, man. People who have, who are very in tune with their emotions, men included, women included. Yeah, some women are super chill. Animals included. Some dudes are super chill. Some are firecrackers. It's, it's like uh, if you're very in tune with those emotions and those emotions run strong and like they affect you, that can be problematic. It's, you know, loss of self-control and more just like just like feeding off of neural trans the raw primal like emotion of like, yes, like yes, yeah neurotransmitters and axons and just glial strands <laughs> glial strands <laughs> i don't even know what that is glial cells it's brain just brain it's just like it's, just, brain it's too much and if you're just like acting off of that emotion and not off of like just thought it's a, it's a problem it's a problem. Yeah, man. It's it's uh I, I don't know what to do. Maybe Neuralink, Elon Musk, our father and savior. Well, but I feel like people can save who, us. The only people who can like understand that are people who do it too. Because like because like I've I've dated people who who will do things like that when they get upset. And I'm like, I'm very like what why are you yelling and like about i'm just about i don't i don't really get emotionally charged about much of anything for any sort of extended period of time but like i feel people who do that if they find a person that does that too they both like explode at each other they say all sorts of wild ass shit and then they come back like sorry i didn't mean that and then they're like okay and like that's the end of it but for me who doesn't do that it's like that's not i don't know you can't just say sorry you said some nasty shit when you were pissed off that I don't know, I like. Hold on a second. Like, where did that come from? Yeah, I don't that's know. like when someone's drunk and says something to you, and you're and they're like, "Sorry, I didn't mean I was drunk." You, you meant it a little bit. Yeah. It came from somewhere. <laughs> right? You don't just make. I don't get drunk and just be like, "I love dragons." That doesn't happen. But if I'm like, "I hate you," and I really don't like you, yeah, that kind of comes out. Yep. I think that sometimes people say stuff in the heat of the moment to get a reaction out of you. All right, I understand that it's like, okay, uh, I'll say something that's going to hurt your feelings. You let you gauge, misgauge it, and you say something that actually hurts a person's feelings. And then it's like, maybe I overstepped the boundaries. I only wanted to hurt them 8%, and I ended up hurting them 25%. Well, here, that's the problem. If you're a person who's willing to say something to hurt someone at all, that's kind of, a, that's kind of effed up, man. Like, you're going to say something just because you know it's going to hurt them? Yeah, I, I can't mean, say I've ever said anything with the intent to hurt someone. It's it's a uh, it's akin to Schadenfreude, uh, just deriving pleasure from seeing other people's pain. Um, yeah, 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 man. And that's I mean that's like and those are gi- that's giant separators of people, not just women and men, like men to men, women to women, like just in general. Yeah, I, would, I would have to say the ancillary is like the dude that's like super like aggressive. Oh, I likes to fight guy. He likes to fight guy. The guy who like some guy bumps into him. And he's like, sorry, buddy. He's like, sorry, buddy. What the fuck? And you're like, I said I was sorry. I didn't yeah, mean to hit yeah, you. Like, yeah. and he's like pushing him. Goddamn ass. Like, whoa, bro. Whoa. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, that guy. I've definitely had like, like cousins in my family who I've met like twice in my life who have tried to fight me every time I've, I've gone to their neighborhood. I'm like, brother, I've known you for like half a day. We're, we're family and you're trying to fight me. I'm like, all like, right. Why? Just to like assert dominance or something? Essentially, yeah, yeah. They're just like, oh, oh, you won't go? And you're like, where? To the mall? And jealousy because they live in the inner city and I lived in Ashtabula. <laughs> Woo! Talk about know. jealousy. Yeah, you better be. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I've never been likes to fight guy. I've never been like degrade my woman guy. I've never been like mm. like the like, you know, the the whole like no one's ever gonna love you. I'm the only one that can love you. Like beat them down Ooh, so they stay emo- with you. Emotional uh, emotional abuse. abuse guy, like but but like but I, it's interesting because men's 
abuse towards women is different than women's abuse towards men. Like women don't try to break a down a guy down like that a lot. Like 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 when I like I think it's a different way. It's not like you're a piece of shit. No one's gonna love you. Whatever. It's like it's. It, I think it's like different. I don't know, man. That that women type of that woman type of hate is like it hits different. They'll hit you on your penis size. You never made me um, <clears throat> cough. Yeah, dude. I never made me. You cough. never made me. Oh, it's like come on, don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. And hey, what are you supposed to do? You just take that? I don't know. Honestly, look, I'm I'm a failure at relationships, and I'm perfectly fine with saying that. So I don't know if maybe this is just commonplace, and maybe it doesn't seem like it should be. It doesn't seem like it should be, but maybe it is more than we think. Man, maybe that's why I'm failing because I'm looking for someone who doesn't do that. Because I yeah. won't do that to you. You looking for somebody sane? I, I just, but maybe we're the crazy ones. Exactly. When you're living in a clown world, Jonas. <laughs> mom, mom. Yeah, like I don't know, dude. Big, big red nose. Sometimes you gotta clown it up, man. Yeah, gotta... dude, I don't know, like, um, yeah, it's wild, man. It's wild yeah. out there. Anyways, when you living in a clown world, sometimes you gotta be a bozo. <laughs> man. Man. <laughs> Bars from the Somebody dynamite. Cookie? What's that? Somebody cookie. Cookie was his friend. Uh, Orange haired clown. How do you know that? I used to watch that show when I was a kid. I just know that he always had a Schwinn bicycle that he yeah, was doing. Yeah, used to play the grand prize game with the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cookie was his was his friend. I don't remember cookie. Anyways, uh, let me double check that. Uh, was it cookie? <laughs> cookie bozo. J Jonas is doing live checks of the clown's name on Bo on. Bozo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Google him. He looks like he got into some trouble, bro. I don't know what that even means. Man, I think you do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Sounds Jonas. Gonna end episode, huh? We're just gonna. <laughs> that's it. All right, cool. It, we out. <laughs> TNT. <laughs> we out.